Hello, and welcome to Abzu. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey, they finally decided to invite me back. So, yeah. you get me back for, you know, once every two years. Yes. Let's say that. So, because Greg has a... Uh... Well, I mean, I think you're honestly the most successful 8-bit players for completing games, no. for being games. What? No, that's not... not I've, I've played two bloody games. Well, <laughs> if you... But, well, you've beaten two bloody games, and if you look at the games that me and other people have played, we still have, like, a list of games we haven't even beaten yet, mm -mm. so... But if you guys don't remember, this is Greg. Yeah, they, they let me out of the closet, yep. so I'm... I'm good. He, he's been good, so we're allowing him to play a, uh, a nice, fun... Uh, relaxing, relaxing game. Look, look, it's already relaxing because I have a meditate option in the menu. Exactly. This game knows that you just want to have a good time. It does, and and these type of games I uh, enjoy playing. Mm -hmm. uh, in between, kind of the harder, more stressful affairs. Exactly. So without for further ado, uh, let's start a new game. This game is really pretty because mm -hmm. I've told I've I've already told you that uh, me and Hannah got this game. Yes. And. Um, I have not played yet, but my wife, she, uh, I watched her play a little bit of it, and she ended up being it in between times that I've been at work or whatever, and she said she liked it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's done by the same people that, or a lot of the same people that did Journey. Mm -hmm. Made by a different company, but, uh, a lot of the people from that game company came, came over, over to, uh, Giant Squid. Okay. To, uh, to make this game, and while Journey is set in a desert... This one is set in the ocean. Wait, so so the company's called Giant Squid? Yes. Uh -huh. That's really funny. There mm -hmm. was um when I was at when I was in college, I took a film class with uh, yes. Cameron. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I think I've heard of that guy. Yeah, I think so. You've probably done maybe Resident Evil with him. Yeah, we did Resident different. Evil together. But um oh. Is he is he okay? No, he's sleeping. He's fine. Don't worry about that. Okay. But uh, what I was about to say was um, we took a film class together and we got to separate into groups and the guy, you know, the, our teacher wanted us to have like a name for our group. So, you mm -hmm. know, we thought of something professional. There was one group that decided as a joke just to call themselves Giant Squid Productions. Yeah, well. And I was thinking like, that's a silly name. I don't see anyone actually having that name. But here we go now. Hey, man. Don't knock the giant squid. Yeah, I'm not it, knocking it's it from, now. It's from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. <laughs> Good old Jules Verne. All right, so our basic uh, buttons are X to boost mm -hmm. and uh, and swim with the uh, the right uh, trigger. Ooh. And so there's a fish. It's going to teach us our other for funsies mechanic that we can ride a fish. So is riding mostly just for fun, or yeah. does it actually have some puzzle or like no. some sort of? Like advent, something to help complete our adventure. No, no. It, it, it's primarily just for funsies. I mean, you can uh, cause like you can grab like a sea turtle. I would love that. Yeah. So let's see if let's see if we can catch up with Mr. Oh boy. Oh boy. I went yep. too fast. Yep. All right. Turtles are slow. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so, because I've uh, completed this game before, we're not gonna have any secrets. Yeah. But, you, were, uh, you were telling me there was. Mm -hmm. Springs yeah, and conch so, shells that you can find mm -hmm. as secrets. Yeah, so so if uh, I hadn't completed this game and we came over here to this little place, yeah, and we interacted with it, it would jet out a whole bunch of fish, and so uh, it would jet like all these fish out. So it be but, it, so is that the fish that it would jet out, or yeah, would there it, be more fish? It, it just jets out like a whole school of fish. Okay, and so like uh, the the whole meditate thing comes from these. Uh, the shark statues. They, these little baby statues here. Yeah, I saw Hannah um, mess around with that the little bit I saw her play mm -hmm. this game. Yeah, and so you pretty much just uh, take in the area. Yeah. And, and you can go around and look at the other fish. Oh, and down at the bottom corner, it tells you what fish it is. Oh, that so there's really a grouper. Cool. Uh, but once again, it's just relaxing for funsy stuff. Like, it's that... not required or anything. Now, are these like. These are, they, they, these are real fish. These are some of these aren't like made up or anything. No, they, these are these are real fish. Like you could go swimming out in the Pacific Ocean and find some, or yeah, some are freshwater. I don't know. There's a sheephead. Like maybe it's yeah. from California, Vancouver. I don't know somewhere. 
Now, what, now so. is is there like a is there like a like a gallery function that allows you to see facts about these fish, or does it just uh, tell you the name? Not that I'm aware of. Look, there's a leopard shark. Oh, I know leopard sharks. Yeah, leopard sharks are friendly. Oh, they're, they're good. Yeah, they're fine. All right, so we found our shark. That's that's good. So there's our big predator. Okay. And so now, uh, aside from just swimming around, this game does have little baby objectives and things like that. Okay. That we're gonna find uh, little little beep beeps. Is that a little... That's a little beak? It, oh, It's okay. a little beak beak. It's a little rubit. Mr. Rubit. Ooh. See, it's beak beak. So he's a kind of like like Claptrap from Borderlands? Yeah, except he's not annoying. He doesn't talk. <laughs> That's the best kind. Doesn't talk. See, he doesn't talk. <laughs> so is he going to be permanently with us now, or is he just in this area? Yeah, he's permanently with us. Oh, cool. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm, I'm guessing you're hinting at something with the with uh, nudge, nudge. No. 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 Why would you think that? Because I know you. I, I, I kind of know you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our, our social link. What would you say our social link is? Like a uh, four or five? It's not quite maxed out. You and no. Cameron are pretty close to maxing out your social links. It kind of comes to the territory for being roommates for, oh God, for two years? Yeah. I think two years, yeah. You know, if you're wrong, Cameron's gonna blow you up. Eh, he's not. He actually, I think we talked about this in a pre, in like a recent Monster Hunter-ish episode. Yeah, just go. With he, that. he was saying like two, two and a half years, so it might be true. It but, might be. Yeah. I don't know. Big maybes. Yeah. Okay. So there's one more of these suckers that we gotta find. Okay. So we uh, gotta find three. So there's one in the center, one in the left. Hey, there's there's our other one. Hey, there he is. There's the law of threes. Honestly, I'll be like. This is the kind of game I would like just to, like you said, just to have fun, swim yeah, around. Sure. And honestly, I'd be kind of, I'd, I would kind of enjoy just having those three just swim around with me. I like, I like having like a little companions, co companions around. Me. Yes. Yeah, little party members. I always love those kind of games. Like, um, I've always told people like, if you have a game where I have a bunch of CPU partners yeah. like fighting with me. I like those games a lot. That's kind of why I drew near uh, Tails games because yeah. of the CPU partners and all the skits. Yeah, look, you can talk to them and they're saying like um, I have a uh, Star Ocean game. I, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I I love the Star Ocean series. Yeah, they're, they're good. There's one that a new one that came out for the PlayStation, and the big advertising for that one is what's that? Hope and Integrity. Uh, yes, yeah. And the big advertising for that game was um, you have a total of seven people in uh -huh. your group. Yeah. And instead of, like, usual um, having, like, four or three people in the battle at once, all yeah. seven of them are fighting out at once. Yeah. Look. And so... It's Mr. Sharky Shark. Oh, wow. That's a great one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. There's our MacGuffin. MacGuffin? That's the You're thing. You're going to have to explain that to me. A MacGuffin? Yes. So, a MacGuffin is just the thing that we're following... To progress the plot. Okay. And so it's like the... Uh, Ooh, eels. Yeah, I don't know if you can grab onto an eel. You probably get a little shocky shock from that. Uh, well, or a bite. Like, more eels don't shark you, but they'll, uh, they'll like, bite you. Okay. There's a bunch of different type of eels. It's just, uh, you know, cartoons and whatever. You yeah. Know, and it, it, every it's time like I, Blanco. I eel, you know Blanco hear... from Street Fighter? He was raised by electric eels. Oh, yeah, I know him. <laughs> he was? Really? That's mm -hmm. a fact about him? I yeah, did not know that. That's his, that's, yes, it's so stupid. Surprising since I love Capcom because I was introduced to it basically from Monster Hunter. I've never played a Street Fighter game in my entire life. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. Ooh, look yeah. at that. Big shiny. Yeah, big, 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 ancient, big ancient technology. And yeah. so you just swim in this, and this kind of just, um, you know, completes an area. Oh, okay. Uh, and so now we're in a Blitzball arena. Oh, boy. See? We're back to... F this is secretly a, like a prequel or a Final Fantasy or we're mm -hmm. going to invent Blitzball, yeah. basically. Yeah, see? We're in Spira. Look at all these Blitzball players. <laughs> those are kind of... Um, we're going to be the Aura. Are you sure those aren't the Blitzballs? Blitzball. Good old Blitzball. <laughs> see? It's so beautiful. And it looks, I really like that. Uh, I don't know. It looks like Little Mermaid or... You know, any number of things. See, like, me and um, my wife have said the same thing about our feelings of being in the water. Yeah. It's like, you know, I've, I've, I've done competitive swimming for, like, my high school and local swim club. Really? When I was young. But, like, if I, I, I'm not sure if I could, like, it, 
I could not be underwater if it's like really dark because like sure. I always get freaked out by like being in this vast open space and there yeah, could yeah. be like you know a giant squid that could be uh, around the corner. Look, there's there's manta rays. Oh, that's my there, favorite. There's ma manta rocks. My favorite sea creature is manta rays. Yeah, they're related to sharks. They are. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, the the rays are related to mm -hmm. sharks. But like I've always been freaked out by you know being like. Of a huge body of yeah, water. Yeah. Is that because of the creatures, or just because? Mainly because of the creatures. Yeah. But um. Ha but I've always wanted to swim in a coral reef. You know yeah. how people have done that before. Yeah, yeah. So I figured it'd be really pretty, uh, uh, you know, clear water and everything. Sure. Hannah. Well. Is <laughs> is actually scared of coral reefs. She will not want to go swim in that. Well, you you better get on something like that soon because. Um, yeah, because they're, they're disappearing. Yeah, because they're, they're disappearing. Bye -bye. I've heard see? about that. See, we're, we're, we're oh, I wanted you to write on Manta Ray. I was like, I'm so hoping he does it, and now it is. Yeah, fulfilled. it's the big monster creature in this in this area. So I am, of course, I am. I am not disappointed. That yeah. is that is cool. I like this. But see all the colors and the greens and the reds and stuff. Mm-hmm. Super cool. And like, you know, the obvious point on this game, later. but it, I just have to, I just have to say it again. This is. A very pretty game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, an art style doesn't have to be realistic. Like this is oh, very no. stylized, but as long as you have color, yeah. it's gonna go a long way. In some ways, I wish I, I wish um, a lot more like uh, games would be more, you know, sure, like more stylized, uh, yeah, and less realistic. To be honest, sure. But there was that era during like the PS3 and the 360 where. Um, Everything was so brown and gray and yeah. drab, but you, color color works. That's mm -hmm. the reason why so many people like uh, Okami and and things like that, mm -hmm. or Odin Sphere, or the the cell shading from Tales games, is because it's. I typ know, I typically like that that kind of animation. I guess is what you call it, or because it's super or, style or artistic style. All right. So, so so this kind of looks like a temple. Yeah, this is the little story area. This is just lets you know. Hey, in this uh, in this area, have you collected all the little little seashells and stuff? And look, I did a good job. Oh, so this is uh, so this will get filled up if you if you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. really cool. Good yeah, job, so, Greg. So yeah, I did a big good. Good job and for so, completion. And so it just kind of tells a story about um, you know the ocean. That, uh, that, let's see. So seaweed, fish. I think I saw a humpback whale. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, we'll, makes we'll see some perfect th sense. <laughs> Well, the, the, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, look, there's some ancient peoples, but yeah, the the whole like uh, plot or theme of this game is kind of uh, mythologies, like Sumerian and Babylonian mythologies of like. I I assume he's similar to those people on the paintings just because of the. Uh, it looks like they were wearing helmets or. Yeah. Their face was black, and I don't know if that's sort of a symbol that he's a. Uh, I mean, he he could be he could be an ancient, or he could be from the future. Or, you know, any any number of things. Mm -hmm. Don't go beep beep. Whoops, see you later. Oh no, we lost one of them. Oh well, it's all right. Oh no. Oh no. A jerk. But look. So see, you, see, this would freak me out right yeah, here. Hanging yeah. Hanging out on the ocean floor. Yep. Well, no, that's now I see the ocean floor. I'm fine. But when you're like up here and I technically can't see the ocean floor, this yeah. this is what freaks me out about being what, a large what prize bar. What if we're hanging on to a turtle? I guess a sea turtle will be fine. He, he'll, he'll, he'll protect, he'll, he'll he'll protect, protect us. It. Yeah. By doing absolutely nothing, by feel protected. Ah, he's doing a good job there. And you should get a dolphin to protect you from sharks. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see some dolphins later. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know, man. Dolphins can get kind of crazy. Well, uh, apparently dolphins will, like, if a, if a, a person is near a dolphin, a shark won't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do, do, dolphins are good about that. But Ooh, that, that thing was blinking at us. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's the door. That's the doorway. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so our little rubits are gonna help out. So, it's, oh no, it's just gonna, I thought there was maybe some sort of puzzle solving to do here, but nope, no. it just opens up. <laughs> no, once again, it's not that type of game, and you know, some people argue that this wouldn't even be considered a game just because of how minimalistic it is. But I don't know. Uh, well, I say it's a game, and not every game has to have. Yeah puzzle solving or sure. has to you yeah know, normally if it's just aesthetically pleasing which i can say this game excelled at that it's i, I mean the, the the tough thing about defining a game is you want something broad enough where it encompasses 
this at the same time. It's encompassing competitive stuff like Overwatch and yeah. Monster Hunter. At the same time, it's encompassing, you know, uh, very skilled based things like Shovel Knight or, or uh, um, Mega Man or Dark Souls or any number of things. So, how do you come up with a definition that's broad enough to encompass all this stuff? Yeah. But not being so broad that you lose all meaning to the, the word itself. And so, before we venture on to the next area, you want to call it an episode? Yeah, let's call it an episode, because I think, because you, you said that was an area we beat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, in, I'm interested in it. I, I, want, I want to see this all the way through, so. All right, well, we'll, we'll see if we can do that. Shut up, Navi. Yep, Navi's in this game. All right, see you later. Bye.